In this video, I'll be touching on a number of subjects. The first is navigation. If you go up here in the top right hand corner to camera, custom navigation, you'll see two presets. The default is 3D code, then there's also one for Maya. You can also customize your own by clicking here on customize navigation. Now we'll show you how to navigate inside the viewport. If you click the left mouse button, hold and drag, it will rotate the viewport. If you click the middle mouse button, holding and dragging, it will pan the viewport. If you click the right mouse button, clicking, dragging, it will then zoom in and out. You cannot do this inside of an object, obviously, as you'll manipulate the object itself. You can also hold down the Alt key to do the same things. You can do that over an object, or in the viewport, or in the navigation zone, or you can just do it all inside the navigation zone. Now I'll be talking about how to change your brush size. If you use a custom navigation that doesn't allow you to do this, this doesn't apply to you, but since I'm using the default 3D coat navigation, you'll see that the right mouse button will change the size and intensity. Now first, if you click the right mouse button holding and dragging it, up and down will change the intensity. Doing the same left and right will change the size. You can also use the sliders up here to do the same thing. This will change the intensity. This will change the radius. Now I'll talk about some of the things here in the top toolbar. First is the fall off. Take note here of the curve for the brush. I'm going to take it all the way to 100. Now notice that the curve is much tighter. I'm going to turn this off. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate the invert tool action. Without turning this on, most tools will protrude from the object that you're sculpting. Turning it on will in indent the object. You can also use the control key to do the same thing. Right now, I'm not using control, and now I am. Now I'll talk about smoothing. If you hold down control, you'll notice the curve of your brush will change to a green color. That will control smoothing. You can change the intensity of the smoothing by holding down the right mouse button and shift, and then clicking and dragging up and down. That will change the intensity. You can also use the slider bar up top. I'll demonstrate how it functions. See it's smoothing out any rough edges, or any edges for that matter. Okay. Now let's talk about the soft stroke. If you use ZBrush, you'll be familiar with this tool. I'm going to turn it all the way up. In ZBrush, this is called the lazy mouse. What it does is that it creates a curve. See the little green line there? This helps you create smoother, more nicer lines as you're brushing. Right. You can control the intensity of this as well by using this slider here.